First of all, I truly believe, and I know I've done it for years. I fill out these cards for years, and when it comes to the biggest challenge, how many times do you think I left it blank? Always. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I really believe that people don't ever think about what their biggest challenge is. And I got lucky. My biggest challenge in life was also somebody else's, well, it's totally different, but somebody else's biggest challenge in life came across my biggest challenge in life, and we ended up like doing fantastic things together. My biggest challenge is, I'll be honest with you, if I go to work tomorrow, it's okay. If I don't go to work tomorrow, it's still okay. Okay? I don't have to go to work tomorrow and make money. Um, I'm waiting for our number one son to graduate high school. If number one son ever graduates high school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I could do so much in real estate, it's unreal. I've got the ability, but I wasn't doing anything because I, you know, I got involved with Nottis, which is a real estate college, just to take care of my boredom. So I went there and started teaching. Daniel Sam came along. And their biggest challenge is they're young, and they want to do amazing things, all right? And they want to buy a lot of real estate for some odd reason, okay? And, but they don't have the experience to do it. You know, you can have all the education in the world, but until you go out and do it, you're not going to get it done. So their biggest challenge is they want to do it, they're ambitious, they're, you know, they got the high-tech kind of stuff that they can figure out in a matter of seconds, you know? Unlike me using paper, I still put out everything. Um, so their biggest challenge is they needed somebody like me. My biggest challenge is I needed somebody like them to push me. Last year alone, we bought how many million dollars worth of real estate did we buy? About five or six million, yeah. Five or six million dollars worth of real estate we bought last year. Did I have to? Well, kind of, because they're in my office every day. <laughs> Okay, they were in my office this morning, making me write up another offer. They asked me for the seminar today, we wrote up another offer. This is a good chance to go through. Sam tonight is making me go sit down with somebody at 4 o'clock, and we're going to write up another offer at 4 o'clock today. We don't need all these offers to go through, because for some reason, they don't, the sellers don't like all my offers. But we only need 10% of them to like them. So their biggest challenge, and my biggest challenge, cross paths, and we solved each other's biggest challenge. And I got lucky, it wasn't planned, it just happened. But I really believe if you become intentional, and you really figure out what your biggest challenge is, and I think a lot of people don't even know what their biggest challenge is. I truly believe that. I bet you, if I sat down with all of you in this room, 90% of you, what you tell me your biggest challenge is, is really not what your biggest challenge is. If you don't know what your biggest challenge is, you're not going to come up with a solution. And what everybody can do in this room is the astronaut role, because I know what some of the people in this room are doing. And then other people in the room aren't doing anything. Why is there such a difference? And I'll tell you what, it's not because one person is smarter than another person. It's not. It's lack of motivation. It's uh, lack of being around the right people. So. Figure out what your biggest challenge is and see if you can find somebody else's biggest challenge that will cross with your biggest challenge and you're probably going to make a big ton of money. Simple? Okay. Good. Give it up, Brad.